So in this tube, we're going to be focusing on the different types of styles which is available on the software package. And remember, you click on charting, and as soon as you click on charting, depending on whether or not you've worked on the charting tool yet, mine is currently still on candlesticks. And once I clicked on the charting, it opened the J203, which is normal. We know that the J203 is the JZ All Share Index. Now, let's say we want to look at a, a specific share. So I'm going to pull up BRAIT. So that's BAT, and then just simply press enter, and then it pulls up the chart for me of the specific share. I'm only looking at about a year's worth of data. This is just easier when looking at the candlesticks. So when once I click on style, if you're not currently selected on candlesticks, click on style and click on candle, and then you'll see this candlestick chart in front of you. And we are busy working with bright, which is a share. So candlesticks as a charting style originally developed in Japan more than 300 years ago, which characterizes each day trade as a battle between the bulls and the bears. That should be correct because if we look at a candlestick we'll notice that this candlestick forms a certain pattern and we know that it makes a certain low and it makes a certain high during each point of the day but depending of, on whether or not the closing price closes above the open or below the open this will tell us or indicate to us whether or not it's a red candle or a green candle. So let's look a little bit more into depth of whether it's a red candle and a green candle. So I'm going to zoom in here and then let's start working with it. So if we look at this specific candle over here, just going to zoom in a little bit more. If we look at that candle, this candle has got a body. This is the body. And then it's got a downside and an upside. Now for a candlestick, you need four prices. Those four prices are shown to you in the top right hand side corner and it's indicated by O, C, H, and L. The O stands for the open price, the C for the closing price, the H for the highest price that share went to for the day, and the L stands for the lowest price that that share went to for the day. Now candlesticks show, as we said, the high, low, close, and open. That is so that the charters can distinguish between the days when the share closed either higher or lower than the open. So now, if we look at that specific candle that we're currently focused on, you'll notice that there are four prices. And if we show it on this candle currently, you'll notice that this is your high, this is your low, this is your open price for the day, and this would be your closing point. And because the close is higher than the open, this is why it's a green candle. If we look at the candlestick just next to that day's candlestick, You'll notice that this is your high, this is your low, that will never change. Your high and low will always stay the same. The only difference is this is now your open while this is now your close. So your close is lower than your open Then this is why you've got a red candle. Okay, so now we've finished looking at the candlestick chart and we know that the candlestick chart is mainly used. Um, in charting analysis because of the patterns that um, candlesticks form and which is a very good tool to use for any technical analyst out there. So if we go back to style now and we click on style, you'll notice the next one available to us is the bar chart. So if you look at the bar chart, I just want to get some more data here. So if you look at the bar chart, you get your green bars and you get your red bars. Once again, represented by either the positive trading day, which is green, and negative trading day, which is represented by the red bar. Once again, it is shown to you um, by the physical bar itself. So this would be the vertical line. And then once again, the open, which is on the left hand side, and then your close that you get, which is at the top right and then it's also on the right hand side of this vertical line it's important to note this because you'll see that the open price on the red can uh, on the boss uh, on the left hand side the open the close is on the right hand side of that vertical line so a bar chart is a chart that shows the daily or weekly movement but we are currently on the daily how do we know this by looking at this one day um, chart and this shows me the movement of a share's price by connecting the high and low for each day with a vertical line. So this is our vertical line once again, my open and my closing price on the green candle and on the red candle 
this would be um, just the inverse of what we saw of the green candle now if we move on to the next one so if you click on style the next one which is also used and this is one is particularly used by newcomers to the stock market someone that doesn't really have any sort of knowledge yet of candlesticks or bar chart which just want to focus on the closing prices of a, of a share they will be working with what we call the line chart so if I pull up more data you'll see this is the line chart of break so this is only using the closing prices and this connects each day's closing price to draw me a line and this is the easiest form that we can use and it's also what's good about it it uses um, just the closing price so it's much easier to draw support and resistance levels before switching over to candlesticks so that you can get a better idea of where your support levels are currently at so the line chart is just much easier and my personal preference to use um, when looking at a chart once you will start doing um, in-depth technical analysis and then switching over to your candlesticks after you've added your support and resistance levels now when we look at a line chart we say that it's a graph drawn connecting the closing prices of a share or other continuous financial data streams so now the last one that we want to look at is going to be the mountain chart so if I left click on style left click on mountain now mountain is a nice colorful representation um, more or less like the same that you get with the line chart except this time it fills up the bottom part of that line so this is just a fancier way of looking at something but this one is not really used at all um, this one is probably mainly used on TV production so when you look at Bloomberg or when you look at Business Day TV um, on channel 411 and channel 412 then they will be using charts like this but if we do really good in-depth technical analysis our main focus on one of two things either the candlestick chart and then the second option would be the line chart but if you really love doing your technical analysis please go and read the lecture module under technical analysis of candlestick charting to understand the patterns which are involved in candlesticks